Howdy out there, folks. Today we're going to be looking at this fantastic Liam Neeson film, The Grey. Um, I am a big fan of this movie. I think that it, he, Liam Neeson, that is, demonstrated just why he is such a great actor in this film. And unlike a lot of his movies of late, this one's actually pretty good. It's uh, it's well made. It's a good existential drama. Uh, it has a, an excellent supporting cast, including... Uh, Gil Bellows um, from Ally McBeal and uh, I believe he was in I want to say oh goodness uh, The Weatherman, one of my other favorite Nicolas Cage films uh, it has Frank Grillo in it and uh, a bunch of other character actors who are all really good and so the premise of the film is you know Liam Neeson plays a, a guy who's basically been hired by this oil uh, pipeline outfit to monitor the area for wolves to ensure the safety of the workers so he's basically just sort of a um you know person who's just looking out a sentinel i guess to um keep any roaming wolves at bay so they don't try to pick off any of the miners or the the, the uh, workers rather and uh, it starts off it looks like he has um you know before the film starts he lost his wife he appears to be very, very depressed to the point of suicide. And in fact, uh, the opening sequence shows him considering just ending it all. And then he doesn't. Uh, and then they proceed to go into this bar and just, you know, depict some incredibly miserable people all inebriated trying to, um, you know, self-medicate. And it's just pretty gross. I mean, but you can understand it's a hard life and certainly there's not much to really be cheery about but it's a, a particularly ugly way to start the, f the story in that you are immediately sort of you know shown this this side of humanity and the people in it just look absolutely miserable they're rude surly mean and just look like they're hurting um so they all end up getting on a plane and unfortunately the plane goes down several people die uh, including there's one scene where Liam Neeson manages to talk a guy through his death and it's just incredible. It's one of the best, best uh, moments I've seen of any actor, let alone Liam Neeson. I think he, he absolutely crushed that scene. He's a, just a fantastic actor. Uh, and then the movie proceeds to sort of go about how, you know, follow them as they attempt to survive in this, you know, incredibly harsh wilderness. And they unfortunately uh, attract the attention of a pack of wolves that seem to want to kind of pick them off one by one. Um, it's a little bit far-fetched, but, you know, not entirely so. I suppose if you were in those conditions and uh, you were in their uh, domain, the wolves' domain, you probably would be at risk. Uh, but I do think they kind of, like, sensationalize it a little bit. The wolves look like dire wolves from uh, Game of Thrones. I mean, the, the head wolf looks like he's practically a horse um so i'm not exactly certain how plausible it really is but i think really it's more of a metaphor about you know why we get up in the morning and you know still try despite all of the um the things around us that are clearly not great uh you know i i think it's a fascinating film and one that absolutely deserves a watch and for me at least uh several rewatches. i've i've enjoyed revisiting this film every couple of years and the blu-ray is great looks great sounds great um the effect work is solid but i mainly go back to it because i feel like it's one of liam neeson's best uh acting performances that i've seen from him and he's given several top shelf performances so on that note i just hope everyone out there is finding their own solace wherever they can get it they're being kind to one another and um you know we're hoping for uh, a better world out there certainly things aren't going tip top and i'm i'm you know, ashamed to say that like many of us, you, you just feel paralyzed about what to do about it. But I think it starts by just trying to be a decent human being and uh, helping when you when and where you can. And uh, let's let's start there. So until the next time, take care and keep watching movies.